The problem with the metronomes for flamenco is that if you became, if you become addicted or hooked to have to play with a certain uh, way in which those metronomes are set, up, mainly happens a very noticeable thing in 12-bit rhythms because those metronomes mark 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then marking all that all the time. First of all, you cannot use the extension. The extension of the añadido is as follows 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 1, 2, 3. This kind of thing, you cannot do it if you have that metronome. This one is advantage big big issue. And then the other is that you become hooked to play only in that repetitive monotonous way of only 12 instead of 12 plus 6. Therefore Paco changed that by using, uh, by, by putting as a main thing for accompaniment with the caja, with the percussion, with the hand claps, a neutral beat 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 because on this kind of, of stuff you can play either 12 or 12 plus 6 while with the other metronome you cannot do it so therefore neutral way is better and actually before that we train just with the metronome, for instance. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. But this kind of thing is much better because here you can use that extension anytime. So mastering the rhythm means you learn to come, you have to have you in, in your mind inside where this 7, 8, 9, 10 is, is wherever you want it to be. Because 7, 8, 9, 10 means the climax for the ending or the remate. The ending starts anything that, which starts after beat 7. Therefore, that you have to command it you, not that the machine is telling you where it is. This is a, a, a lousy thing. I see some people with this thing like a clock, and, and then the, the you know the like a clock is marking the, the numbers, and then people have to to be watching that in order to play okay. So this is just a lousy thing because rhythm. That's why Paco, which metronome Paco used, the Whitner original 1920 model. This thing. So, why? Because if you master that flat, a flat metronome, flat with no accents there, or uh, if you are playing in four four, right? Then people people put sometimes this. Right? This is also not good. It's better to have it here and then have it in the mind and then use only flat metronome. After you can count and play with the flat metronome. Then you can use, if you want to, a neutral hand claps or caja, which has neutral way, like this here, for instance. Uh, let's say... If we want to have Remates or, or, or say any drill you do, then we better use something like this. Because here I can I can play my falsetta in solea or in alegrías, in solea por bulería or in bulería, and I have a neutral bass which allows me to play extension. Namely, here I could do 
12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, or I could do 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6. So I, I could use the extension as I want, and, and, and this is not marking me to forcibly do it like this is the kind of thing which is not advisable for example suppose if we train only with a non-neutral caja or, or percussion like this this here this is one example. Because here you have to have 12, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It has to be that. If I try to use the other, it goes very. <laughs> right? If I try to do it, let's try. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So I, I, I already messed it up with that thing. That's why Paco eliminated it. Actually, this is a very old fashioned thing. Remember that Paco modernized it all, and in the process, he tried to change to more neutral uh, environments for the for the accompaniment or for the for the rhythm section let's say for instance right this is the Moraima thing and right there he already choose a neutral product which did not have tag did not have that. Why? Because that was the modern era started. And by the way, modern means in flamenco until uh, all the things what Paco did contribute with, which were not there before in, in Savica's time, until that is improved or modernized or updated or changed, still that keep being that will keep being modern. It doesn't matter this recording was in 1976 that Moraima album. If nothing uh, comes further from from there, which is not there now in 2017, nobody's recording one thing innovative, which is more innovative than that. Right? Of all the so-called stars in, in, in Spain, so-called so soloists, all those who pretend to be also the same level of Paco, which they are not, of course, but anyway, the thing is that until objectively, until these things are not surpassed, still what we consider as modern material will be Al Moraima 1976, <laughs> right? Not because it was from 76, and if I record an album now in 2017, then it is modern, and the other is old. This is very ignorant statement, actually. This is just showing ignorance. Right? So this is a very big misunderstanding, isn't this thing? People think that, that if someone is 60, like Paco, he's old, and if someone is 30, he's new, because he's playing it now. Hello. Modernity doesn't mean that. For instance, Juan Sebastian Bach is still the father of music. Doesn't matter if he lived 300 years ago. And, and it's valid, it's current, it's valid currency today. Otherwise, why, why you have to, when you study music or orchestra conductor career or composition career, you have to study back, right? In the conservatory or in the school. And that is valid today. It's not that that is old. It's valid still. Nobody can compose fugues and this stuff like he did. <laughs> so, uh, until someone comes and can go beyond that, then that is considered baroque period, etc. So, 
therefore there is a historical thing about it like we said modernism uh, or impressionism with Ravel and Debussy Manuel de Falla and, and those guys were hundred years ago but still that is modernism until something does not surpass that it will still be modernism Debussy it doesn't matter if he was born hundred years ago that is modern harmony modern harmony tenet so all these things have to be considered and then the same thing with this this uh, percussion stuff is the same stuff but Paco did change to eliminate this 7, 8, 9, 10 nonsense thing and, and give a lot of possibilities with a neutral uh, percussion settled in a way that you can do it's, el it's elastic, you can do many many things there so until someone comes and invents something beyond that, I, I don't know what will be that. <laughs> Say Buleria of 13 beats, or I don't know, 11 and a half. <laughs> right? Like the subdivisions on Indian music, which they do seriously, these kind of subdivisions. Uh, th still, this will be considered what is modern flamenco. Modern flamenco means Paco de Lucia. It doesn't matter if he's 60 or or he recorded this album in 1976. It still is modern. <laughs> so I hope this will be useful for your appreciation and your cultivation of knowledge in flamenco contemporary guitar. <laughs> a músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Tú sabes que nosotros los flamencos, sobre todo los de nuestra generación, ninguno sabemos música. Y yo desde pequeño siempre tuve la las ganas de aprender música porque yo sabía que, que me iba a hacer falta y, y se necesita saber música porque lo que yo tardo en el tiempo que yo tardo en encontrar una carencia de acordes uno que sepa música te la, te la hace en dos minutos y yo puedo tardar 15 días entonces eh, 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 yo me planteé muchas veces en serio aprender música pero no tengo la disciplina y nunca tuve la disciplina de, de aprender algo porque entre otras cosas estuve en la escuela dos o tres años y pues me acostumbré a estar en la calle, a aprender lo que aprendí, lo aprendí en la calle pues en una fiesta, en una juega, o en un escenario o, o oyendo un disco entonces de, de pronto se me ocurrió que si tocaba con gente del jazz porque la gente del jazz maneja muy bien la armonía ahí había un campo que aprender, un campo para aprender y que bueno, que no me iba a cambiar mis esquemas que no me voy a meter en una escuela con el pupitre delante a, a cantar sofeo. Y ese fue el motivo. Yo me metí ahí porque tenía ganas de aprender otra manera de tocar. Por ejemplo, la improvisación, la improvisación que se usa en el jazz, que se está utilizando ya en el flamenco. Ya se incorporó al flamenco. Me parece muy importante. Yo pienso que, que cualquier músico de cualquier identidad, de cualquier estilo, debería aprender a improvisar. La improvisación es algo que hasta que no lo descubre no realmente no, no aprecia lo que lo que tiene, lo que vale, ¿Por qué? porque eso de meterte en un escenario a tocar sin saber lo que vas a tocar es muy excitante, muy atractivo. Cuando ya tocas en una gira de conciertos las mismas notas cada día llega un momento en que pues que te cansas, te aburres. Pero si hay improvisación en cada concierto, cada día es, cada día es una aventura. <risa>